let's talk about query latency. I have a latency graph pulled up here for a window of time in my database. And what I'm looking at is P50, P95, and P99. If you don't know, P50, that indicates that half of your queries are executing faster than this time, and half of them are executing slower than this time. So currently, the P50 is very good. It is sub millisecond. Uh, we also have P95, which means 95% of queries are executing faster than this time, half slower. And this is very good. Uh, for the most part, it's sub millisecond with a few spikes above a millisecond. And then my P99, 99% running faster, 1% running slower, is also pretty good. I have a few places where it's spiking up to several milliseconds, which maybe is a little bit concerning, um, but still pretty good depending on what the, your needs are for your database. And then we can go all the way up to P99.9, which means only 0.1% of your queries executing at these given time chunks are running slower than this line. And this, when we look at it, is starting to get potentially concerning, right? If I see, hmm, I have, even if it's a very small percentage, some queries that are taking 30 milliseconds, 40 milliseconds, uh, this could be negatively impacting my page load times. But even just looking at these numbers, although very useful, doesn't quite tell the whole story. Sometimes it's useful to actually look at what are the true max execution times for queries. And what I wanna look at here is in additionally, you can add max to this graph. And you can see that in some cases, the max uh, is significantly higher than even what the P99.9 line was showing. I can see that there's some queries that are taking over a second to execute. And we have a big spike up here. So scrolling down, and if I start to sort by P99 latency, we can see very quickly one of the things that pops up, although that's not the only cause for this slowness, is that there's a select star, so a basically full table scan that's executed one time. Uh, so one of these spikes, and I can click on it here, and we can look more closely at this query. So this spike here over on this side correlated to that big select statement. Uh, but some of the other ones were not necessarily due to that problem, but potentially due to things like in this case, the server simply being overloaded. If you end up hitting 100% CPU, which you don't want to have to happen ever in production, you can notice big latency spikes in query execution time. And that's an indication that you probably need to either do query optimization or you need to upgrade your server resources to simply be able to handle those kinds of things better. So in Planet Scale, this is how you can go and look at the latency of the queries that are executing on your database, get good insights into what's going on with them, and then you can come up with a plan of action to fix those things.